And because of the ongoing COVID-19 outbreak, families were forced to watch the graduation ceremony virtually. We continue our team coverage with Alexis Dominguez, who joins us live with how one family didn't let over 1,500 miles keep them from being a part of their son's big day. Alexis. Crystal, graduation has been something Ryan L. has been looking forward to for years. But despite changes to the ceremony, his family says his story has always been one of perseverance. Congratulations, Ryan. Cheers, Ryan L. Congratulations. Love you, baby. The excitement of parents seeing their son graduate is best described through their own words. We're just over the moon, happy and proud of you. Yeah, you know how you've done a lot of things that made me proud over the years. And, um... This one is the topper. For Colleen L. and her husband David, this ceremony is bittersweet. You, know, you think about this moment, from the moment they step foot on the Air Force Academy about graduation, and this is not anything what we had imagined. They planned to be here in person. There they are. We had the house for like a year and a half reserved. Instead, the family celebrates from their home in Pennsylvania super blessed to be able to like share in this from a distance at least still wearing their falcon blue but watching from a screen we feel fortunate because we know so many other seniors that won't get that this year but ryan l's time at the academy hasn't come without its challenges i didn't get into the academy the first time i applied and i had to spend a whole extra year getting ready reapplying even without his family nearby part of it's very difficult because it's something that for many of us have looked forward to since we've been little kids. He isn't alone. And when you look to your left and right and you see the people that are next to you, I guess eight feet apart, which is a little different than where we're used to, you kind of realize that you're not as alone as you think you are. Feeling more prepared than ever for whatever comes next. It made it very special. And Ryan will be making his journey back home to Pennsylvania to celebrate with his family in person. Reporting from home, Alexis Dominguez.